just a good night. What's up, Tripsters? It's your boy R1, aka Mr. Goodnight. I'm back. I know it's been a long time, but I'm going to do a quick review on the Red Rocket. I finally got it. I got the first one to come to the US. I want to give a special shout out to Kane over in the UK for sending this to me. Here you go. There she is. My, this is going to be a short review because I've only had it about two weeks and I put about 61 miles on it. Um, my overall first impression that it's a really good bike. I mean, you know, I've done a few mods. I swiped out the battery. The battery came with was a 10 amp hour. I put a uh, 48 volt. I think this is a 14.5 or 15 amp hour battery on it. I got rid of the knobby tires. I'm not a big fan of the knobby tires, but We'll do a quick walk around, let you look at it. Um, the one thing I'm definitely gonna change is the height of the seat. I took the rear rack off, but it was, uh, I'm not a fan of racks, and I like the old look, old style, old school style look of the bike. I do like the mesh covering over the light. I mean, I did have an accident. I'll tell you about that later. Got a little scuffed up. My dog ran in front of me when we were running in the park so i will have to swap that out as well but i've got these new tires on it i did put a new shock on it originally and it was uh too high so i had to order another shock it should be here sometime this weekend i'm going to replace the fenders hold up i'll show you what i'm going to do with that So this is my Buzzraw X and I took the original fenders off the classic and I did some modification on this one so it would fit. But I'm going to do the same here. So it's got a pin bolt up in there, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to adjust that and then I'm going to add this fender to the front and I'm going to get rid of this plastic fender right here. It's pretty cheap. And I know why companies do this to keep the prices down on these bikes. But this one for the price was pretty affordable. Um, I wish the seat was a little higher. Kane said he's gonna try to get me one in the next few weeks. And I'll show you guys the mods on that. I'll, I'll show you right now, kind of um, the height of the seat and the end seam and the difference. This is my scramble, um, Juice Scrambler. And it's about 35 inches. This one's about 30. 233 inches and this one's about 30 inches and a quarter so that extra C height will really help this bike out I put this little cup holder on so when I'm riding grabbing something to drink I'm gonna make some mods for that too, make it look a little cleaner I'm definitely gonna get rid of uh, the 961 display on this I'm gonna put a mid-drive motor on it there's a controller right there um, it seems pretty powerful. I'm going to do a quick spin on it, let you guys see it. I'll stand on each bike to kind of let you see the height of it. I'm 6'1", about 195. So, but it's a pretty smooth ride. You guys can see and judge for yourself. Let's take a spin. All right, just to give you an idea of the seat height, I'm not sure what my M seam, N seam is, but you see I can touch. But this is about 30. I say 30 inches and I don't know a quarter or something. This is my buzz raw. This is about 32 inches. You can still touch. As you can see, it's a lot higher. And then my scrambler is 35 inches. You can still touch, but 
much higher. And I'll show you what it looks like to ride each one of them too. All right, let's go for a spin. Full battery, power it on. And I also opened it all the way up so we can get the max power out of it. I normally cruise around about four or five. Let's roll. So this is my ride position. Knees come up pretty high. It's comfortable. Got a pretty good takeoff. Okay guys, to summarize, I'm overall pretty impressed with the bike. It's fun to ride. I'm looking forward to the seat. The hand grips are pretty good. I'm definitely going to get rid of the Shimano and these brakes. But the bike is pretty awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, when I do the other mods on it, when I add the mid-drive system to it and the seat, I'll do an update on it. I'll take those... Uh, candy wrapper reflectors off next time you see it as well special shout out to Kane thanks again for making me the first one in the US to get one of these rockets um, guys I'll be doing more content weekly maybe two three videos a week stay tuned hey guys I hope this answered your questions at least a little bit this was just a mild review I'll do a full one on all my bikes and give people updates on what I'm doing with my motorcycle, the Saunders motorcycle that I'm about to get. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Your boy.